Hello everyone. It has been a while since I have done a programming video, but I still am the, our virtual programmer after all, your programming teacher. So every once in a while we have to sprinkle in a little bit of fun with programming. Nothing too crazy deep today. We're just going to be talking about a phenomenon I think is really, really cool in programming. So in Java, what I've, I've mentioned this in the past, many, many, many programming videos ago, so most of you probably don't remember, but um, integers are 32-bit. Now doubles are, well, double that, so they're 64-bit, but that's not particularly super important right now. What matters is this big, big, big number right here is what's considered the largest 32-bit integer. We're not going to go into the fancy schmancy blah 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 blahs of what that means. Basically, this is just the largest number that you can um, store in a 32-bit memory location. That's just the simplest of it. We don't really care in our uses right now. There's no test on this nonsense. Basically, I'm only you only need to know that for the practical reasons of what happens if you try and do this right here. So let's just say we're trying to, for sake of argument, what if we want infinity? Well, what if we just add one to this? This can't be the largest possible number because in normal numbers, there is no such thing as the largest possible number because whatever number you can say, I can add one to it. If for some reason 10 is the largest number you can think of, sure, 11, it's one bigger. So in math understanding, it doesn't seem possible for there to be a largest counting integer. Like that doesn't make sense, but it does exist in Java because here, obviously if I print max, it's just gonna say this. Now, what is gonna happen if I add one to this? Well, if you take my word for it, it's obviously not going to add, instead of a 7, it's not going to be 8. That's not going to happen. But if you want to believe that's going to happen, sure, we'll believe that until we see otherwise, because that is what your experience with math and numbers should tell you. However, you'll see something very strange happen when we add 1 and then print it again here. Boom, okay. Wow, that's weird. For some reason, it's a really really freaking big negative number. Hmm, strange, isn't it? So you see what's happened here is the concept that this video is titled after. This is integer overflow. We are unable to store a number bigger than this. So it loops around to the smallest possible 32-bit integer. This right here is the smallest. See, if we, um, if we go here, nope, that is not what I'm looking for. How about we go max um, minus equals one. The uh, plus equals and minus equals, that's the same thing as saying, uh, here, that's basically the same as max equals max plus one. That's the same thing. It's just shorter, more concise to do off plus equals. And then if we go through here, yoink, copy paste our print statement, what do we expect to happen? Boom, we integer overflow back to our original number. So the problem with it is when you're dealing with incredibly large numbers, there's only so large of a number that you can actually comprehend in terms of data here, because we'll just end up looping back around to negative. Now you're probably wondering why does it go negative? And the simplest way to explain this is, well, if you can't get be any more positive and you can't be the number you just were, we're just gonna loop around pretending that the number line, as we all like to call it, 
in school you get like the one, two, blah, 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 number line. So what's for sake of the way this works is we take the small end of our number line and the large end of our number line and we just tape them together. So you could think of it sort of like a number circle is the way Java works. So if you're too big to be any bigger, it's going to loop around to be a really big negative number. And if it's if we started with the smallest 32-bit integer, then if we subtracted one like we just did here, we get back up and we loop back around to the largest possible. Basically, it serves twofold. One, it tells you something's gone horribly wrong. When you're trying to add one to a large number and suddenly see a very large negative number, you notice immediately something's gone horribly wrong. <laughs> so yeah, that is the fascinating bit of integer overflow. It is very important in a very niche situation. And other than that, it is not particularly useful. Like for a lot of things, it's just a cool thing to know, but it's not something that you're going to constantly need to know one of the basics of programming, blah, blah, blah. It's just what I think is really cool. Now you can be very sassy about this. And I like to be sassy about this because whenever you're trying to find the minimum or the maximum of some like list of numbers, I will always start my max at the largest 32-bit integer or the minimum at the smallest 32-bit integer um, because it's physically impossible for a number to be larger or smaller and for Java itself to even comprehend it in an integer format. <laughs> so you can use that as a cheeky little cheat. There's, of course, other ways to go about fixing those problems without being a sassy person who knows the largest 32-bit integer. And frankly, you don't have to memorize this number. You can literally just go Google. You just need to remember the phrase largest 32-bit integer. Then you plug it in and you go, oh, that number. Cool. Thanks. And then you just shove it in. And it says here, the maximum possible score slash money, etc. for many video games. That's true, actually. In um, Borderlands 2, if you use a save editor to give yourself the maximum amount, amount of money, it is classified as an integer of 32-bit. So this number right here is the largest amount of money you can possibly have. And if you start to pick up additional money when you're at that amount, you start losing money like the plague. And it is really funny. So yeah, it is kind of a comical thing you can mess with when you start crunching numbers and modding games in crazy ways. Uh, that is usually one of the bigger numbers that you can make crazy stuff happen for. Lots of really fun minor things you can do. Other than that, not the most useful thing in the world, but personally, I think it's kind of cool. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day.